Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. Boom, guys. We are on the way to the Fuego Open Mic. I didn't write any jokes today because I felt like a lazy piece of shit, I guess. Yeah, I just didn't write any jokes today. I didn't feel like it. I don't really know what I'm going to say at this open mic. I don't have much of a plan, but I'm just going to go there and get some stage time. It'd be better if I was prepared, but just going and showing up, even if you got nothing prepared, it's better than not showing up. Yo, but I do have some pretty big news. I got booked to do a show in Columbus, Ohio. That's right. Actually, I got booked to do four shows in Columbus, Ohio. That's right, baby. I'm going to be getting paid $75 a show, so I'll get $300 total to go up there. I'm going to be up there on May 3rd and 4th. I got booked off of Instagram by this guy named Simon Fraser or some shit like that. And he looks like he's a pretty well-established comedian in his own right. He's got like 60,000 followers, so it'll be cool to meet him. Shout out to that guy for booking me, dude. Good man. And uh, open mic night is going to Columbus, baby. Oh yeah. Oh fuck, dude. Let's see what's popping. Here it is. You ready? Yes. Okay. Guys, I want you to give the energy. Give it up for Michael Blank. Yeah. Boom, bitch. We did it. Small crowd. Not a lot of people there. But yeah, I just kind of fucked around it. You know, I'm glad I came here and got on stage. It was worth it, I'd say. Yeah, I did jokes about shitting, coming, and pissing. So pretty immature set, but you've already seen my shitting and coming jokes, so I'll show you the pissing joke. You guys know urinals? I know the ladies don't. Uh, dude, whenever I go pee in a urinal, I fucking make that thing my bitch. I get up to it, dude, I put my hand on the wall up here. I put my dick all the way in there. I'm like, yeah, you know, I fuck, I fuck that urinal up, bro. For real, and it's mainly because I don't want the other people to see my dick, so I just lean as far in as I can. <laughs> Usually get a lot of backsplash on my shirt, but <laughs> as long as they don't see the micro penis, I mean the average penis that I have. I told joke about the United States and about how the states are like different sizes. But isn't it weird when you look at the map, like in the Northeast, all the states are like tiny as fuck. But as you go this way, they just got lazy, and the states just get really big. They're just like, fuck it, that's Montana. All of that. That's, that's, that whole coast is just California. We're... Alaska, that's a good state, dude. Everyone's complaining about global warming. I'm buying land in Alaska. I'm cheering for global warming. I'm like, yes, I got to thaw out this grass that I bought. And then I told a joke about like growing up with my parents and having weird rules. Growing up, my parents had some weird rules for me. They said I wasn't allowed to drink or do drugs, but they said I was allowed to fuck bitches if I wore a condom. That's what my parents told me. I was like, okay, that's weird. But it led to some interesting lies. Like one time they almost walked in on me ripping a bong and I had to be like, don't come in, don't come in. I'm, I'm eating a girl's pussy. <laughs> and they're like, what? But it smells like weed. I'm like, nah, she, it's just her pussy. <laughs> she got that skunk pussy. It's <laughs> don't come in. <laughs> That's another joke I kind of made up for tonight. That was the Sunday night open mic. Tomorrow night, we're going to the KC Daiquiri shop, a little place in downtown Kansas City. Should be a lot of fun. We're doing five minutes. I'll see you fuckers there. Peace out.